Hello YouTube, Red Reptiles here with another video. And in today's video, I'm showing you guys the new edition, but there is a twist to this video. Uh, nothing too sad, but the new edition that I made the video that you guys saw last of me constructing this habitat, this new edition has an upper respiratory infection. So we'll be taking this animal to the vet. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let's get started. All right, so it's hard to tell, but in his left nostril, this guy has a little bit of a nasal discharge, kind of like a mucus kind of secreting out of the nostril. This is a very common symptom and one of the most obvious symptoms when it comes to, you know, noticing an upper respiratory infection. Hard to see through the glass. Do not want to bother the snake at all because uh, at the time of this recording, it is nighttime. So I have my vet appointment tomorrow. So I tried to get him in as soon as possible. Uh, but here's an overview of the habitat and just kind of show you guys how it turned out. Water dish, a few logs. Kind of ample space because it is a very heavy body snake we got locks on both sides this is the only section that opens this is shut down screwed down and then obviously i have a lamp right now you see an infrared bulb in there and also a regular basking bulb just because i want to keep this nice and warm just to get this guy uh as hot as possible because that is a very good way to treat respiratory infection because it is still at the early stages but uh, medication is needed because if i don't medicate this guy it can go really bad and obviously we do not want this animal to die so, like I said, this guy has a little bit of nasal discharge, kind of a slight wheezing. Um, it's kind of almost like a cough for the snake, kind of like how you and I would have a common cold. That's what this is for these snakes, but there is no cure unless you put medication. And uh, if I caught it extra, extra early, I do not know the living conditions of this animal before it came to me. So I'm guessing it was in a bad situation. Oh, uh, you know, I heard it was being kept in a tub for a long period of time because the person that I got it from had to get rid of this animal just because of the circumstances that they were living in. So I went ahead, got this animal. I love the snake so far. It's very docile, very tame. As you see, very large snake, kind of what I wanted. Uh, you'll see him later on in the video when I'm at the vet, how I'll have him out and stuff, but this guy's in shed as well. So like I said, those symptoms are mucus, nasal discharge, kind of a, a little bit of lethargicness. They can lose their appetite. This guy I have not fed yet because I've only had him for a week, but I want to get this guy in the vet as soon as possible. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to South Dade Animal Hospital and they are an exotic animal vet and we'll pick that video up back there. All right, so it is the next morning and before I do my thing and take him to the vet later on, I wanted to give you guys an update on Jungle. So Jungle is a jungle boa constrictor, Colombian red tail boa. You can see very large snake around seven feet, um, about 50, 60 pounds. We'll put this guy on a little bit of a diet just so he can slim out a little bit more. But like I said, he was shedding and he actually shed out in the nighttime. So that's a very good of him. I'm happy to see that he already shed, which means that the animal is still going through a healthy cycle and it's not really affecting it. So I just want to get him into the vet, kind of give him a checkup. Uh, I kind of recommend if you want to do this with any new of your animals, just so you can kind of learn about the animal's health history, of course. Um, you can't really see any of the discharge going on right now, but there was a slightness to it yesterday. So just to be safe, I'm gonna get this guy on a cycle of Fortaz, uh, which is a medicine to treat upper respiratory infection. And here's another overview of their ha of his habitat, of course. Uh, locks on both sides with keys. Uh, this guy cannot get out of here. On this side, it is sh screwed shut. And then we did some reinforcement of the chicken wire with these uh, fence panels. Uh, there is basketball, like I said, uh, infrared and a regular 100 watt, just because I wanna help this guy get as hot as possible to dry out the infection. It is a good way to kind of treat this, but like I said, getting medicine as soon as possible and as early as possible is very important because this can get really nasty. Right now, you don't see any signs, but he could be wheezing really bad, lots of saliva, lots of mucus, open mouth, because he'll be breathing through his mouth instead of his nostrils. So here's another overview of this habitat. Uh, we are in the reptile room right now, and then we will be at the vet shortly. All right, everyone. So we are on our way to South Day Animal Hospital. They are an exotic animal vet, and these guys take great care of any reptile or any animal in general that you bring to them. Uh, we're at a red light right now, just for those that are wondering. I am not vlogging and driving, but in the tub right there is Jungle. Taped it all up, put a towel down, put a gonna put a towel over him as well now, just so he's not as rowdy and kind of moving around. So uh, with that being said, I'll see you at the vet. All right, guys. So we made it to the vet. Here's Jungle. Um, the doctor will come out of there and they'll let us know what's going on with the snake. So that's obviously probably stressful conditions and stuff, but he's uh, yeah. He could probably lose a little bit of weight too, I think. What are you feeling? Yeah, he is. The guy told me he's a he's a big guy. I mean, things that we can do. 
I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. <laughs> See that one? All right guys, so we took some x-rays of the snake to just kind of see what's going on because I have no medical history of this animal. The respiratory infection isn't so severe, it's in the early stages, so we're gonna get this guy on some medication and he'll be good to go. Right, Jungle? So Jungle weighs 12.2 kilograms, which is about 26 pounds. So 30 pounds for this big old boy is pretty heavy. Um, we're gonna put him on a little bit of a diet because I think he gets to slim out a little bit more just because he has a little bit of excess weight, but the x-rays and everything checked out amazing the snake looks good you go back we go back because of the just so that you don't lose anything no just in case uh there is blood okay so if you hit it all right guys so we just got back from the vet and here's jungle he was in this tub and put him back in his habitat now uh, just to kind of give you guys an overview of what we learned and talk a little bit about the snake of course he's around 10 years old we won't know for sure but that's what i was told of course uh, i've been saying that jungle is around 50 to 60 pounds that's uh, because that was like kind of a rough estimate before actually on official weight on him but as you guys learned he's around 30 pounds 26 uh, pounds 12.2 kilograms um he is actually around eight feet if you look to the floor there uh, he just shut out yesterday so we stretched it out roughly about eight feet um versus the seven feet that i was kind of you know naming not but just one foot a little bit bigger uh, this guy is a little bit overweight because the person that i got him from um yeah got him from previously was overfeeding him too much rodents so we're going to kind of limit the amount of time you're feeding him on a monthly basis just because we don't want this guy to obviously suffer from any heart diseases or any fatty liver of course um and Yes, he does have an upper respiratory infection. I am not very happy with the person that I got him from um, lied to me. I did not see any signs of upper respiratory infection either when I went to go pick him up. So I thought he was okay, but I'm glad I noticed the early symptoms here soon. He is kind of wheezy and heavy breathing, uh, but I did get uh, 10 intramuscular injections. As you guys saw, one of the injections was already administered, but this is a, uh, this is a medicine called Fortaz and hopefully uh, this snake will do fine on that, but I also did uh, commission a culture. So when you culture the bacteria, it'll go to a lab and they will see that. And of course, we'll determine exactly what bacteria and if that medication will work or if we need another one. So with that being said, I'm going to put it back. Just wanted to share this with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe, rate, comment, like, and see my fellow rippers.